Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve another very popular and recent lead code coding interview question 2661 first completely painted row or column. So as you can see here, this is quite a popular medium complexity matrix related coding interview problem. Uh, so I recently came across this problem uh, and I thought that it's worthwhile to create a video and show you guys how to uh, approach and solve these kind of problems. So I'm that's why I'm creating this video. If you are new to this channel, please uh, subscribe to this channel now. Also click on the bell notification icon button right away. So you won't miss any important postings from this channel. Here we create videos and content to help others in their interview preparation and learning different computer science concepts along with data structures, algorithms, problem solving, logic building, programming and coding. So let's start. You are given a zero indexed integer array R and M by N integer matrix mat. R and mat both contain all the integers in the range of 1 to M multiplied by N. Go through each index I in R starting from index 0 and paint the cell in mat containing the integer R I. Return the smallest index I at which either a row or column will be completely painted in matrix. Okay, so this is what the problem says. So we'll go through the examples. Constraint says that the mat dot length is m, number of rows is m, number of columns are n, r dot length is equal to m multiplied by n. 1 is less than equal to m n is less than equal to 10 raised to 5. So 10 raised to 5 is 1 lakh. So maximum size of the matrix uh, will be 1 lakh. And uh, 1 is less than equal to m multiplied by n is less than equal to 10 raised to 5. Um, Area of I matrix of RC is between 1 to M into N. All the integers in the array are unique. All the integers in the matrix are unique. Okay. <clears throat> so let's take this second example. So you will understand what the problem is. This is a better example to uh, understand. Right. So this matrix is given to us. Right. And this array is also given to us. So this array is given to us. Right. So what they are saying in this matrix, you start painting from this index 0. So this is index 0 in the array, right? This is index 0, then index 1, index 2, index 3, correct? Index 4, index 5, index 6, 7 and 8, right? Total 9 elements, correct? So these are the index. You, so you start with index 0, you paint these elements. So you painted 2 first, right? So 2 is there, so you painted 2. Then next element you will paint is 8, correct? 8. So you painted 8. So now 2 and 8 are painted, right? Okay. Next element you will paint is 7, right? You are following me. So next element you painted is 7. So now 3 elements you painted, right? Okay. Next element you will paint is 4, right? So you painted 4. So now you can see that 2 you painted, you painted 8, you painted 7, you painted 4 now, right? Okay. Now you can see at this point that a column is getting completely filled, right? So this is a column one, correct? On zero based index. So it got filled completely. So this is the first time uh, any column or any of the rows got filled completely. I'll repeat this sentence for you again. This is the first time any of the row or any of the column got filled completely, right? So what is the index here? The index is three. The index for four is three. So that's what you want to find out. Okay. So three is the output. Okay. So you can see here written the smallest index I at which either a row or a column will be completely painted in matrix. Correct. So now you understood this, uh, how that three came, right? Now let's say uh, if you keep going, let's say, then you will next fill uh, next you will fill one right so this one will fill get filled next time you will fill three right so you will fill three correct next time okay next time you will fill five right you will fill five so now you fill five right now this is the first time any of the row get filled okay this is the first time any of the row get filled you got it right because this row get filled completely now at this point what is the index at this point? The index is of 5 is 6, right? So the first time your column get filled, the index was 3, right? 
when any of the row completely got filled the index was 6 right so let's say if i find both of these indexes let's say right then i can just find out the minimum between this right and that will tell me the answer basically that i'm looking for right because sometimes the column will get first filled or sometimes the row will get first filled we don't know it depends on the matrix and the array right so we will what we will do when we solve this problem is we will find both these numbers when the first time column gets filled when the first time row gets filled completely those indexes and then we'll choose the minimum from them right that's what we wanted to do basically to solve the problem you understood right so this is kind of a more of a simulation so what we will do is we will take this array and we will create a map from this given array this array is there right so we'll create a map so what map will contain uh, so we will put number two here and number two's location is uh, what is the location of that number two in the matrix basically that's what we will put this location right so this is the index zero row index zero column index is one right so that's what we will put in the map okay the i and j which is row and column index of that number correct so 2 is um, 0 1 if you say 7 then it will be column 2 and row 1 so that's what we will put into the map okay so i'll show you that in a minute after that uh, how we will know that the uh, row or column gets filled so let's go through this example so it will be more clear so now in this case we'll create one row array so row array will have three numbers right three um, because there are three rows so everything will be zero in the beginning right zero 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 column also will have three because there are three columns right so nothing got filled at this point right so everything is zero now you start filling so you fill two so you fill this two here right so which row is this so zero row is this right so you will increase this row by one you will which column is this column one right so you will increase this by one so this one becomes one so this point you understood right okay now next you will fill eight so you fill this eight right so which row is this two right so you go here you increase it by one which column is this zero so you go here you increase it by one okay next time you will fill seven right so you fill seven which row is this this is row two right so you go here you increase it by one right which column is this this column is one so you go here you increase it by one so it become two right next time you will fill four right you will fill four which row is this this is a row one so you will go to the row one you will increase it by one which column is this column one right so you go to the column one you increase it by this right so it will become three now you will note that this became three right this became three which is maximum so it means that this column completely got filled basically you understood right this three means that this com column one got completely filled right so you will keep track of this when the column got completely filled column got completely filled at index three similarly if you keep going right next time uh, you will fill four uh, one three uh, and five and six right so what you will fill one 3 5 you will fill right 5 now at this time your index is 6 so you will check you will create another index which is 6 when your first row is filled right so you know that uh, your first column let's say first column right first column got filled at the index 3 first time right your first row right first row got filled at index 6 correct so now you know both these things so you take minimum from this 3 and 6 right and you will get the answer basically right so this is what we will be doing uh, this is the logic to solve this problem first completely painted row or column elite code 2661 quite interesting matrix coding problem so i hope you understood this logic completely so let's go ahead implement this in java so first thing we'll do is we will create a map from this array right so uh, uh, we'll create this ma uh, map so that we can store uh, the row and column value for each of the item in that matrix right so first complete index is the method we are implementing array is given to us 
which is a one dimensional integer array and matrix is a 2d integer matrix right so here we are going to return int because we want to find out the first index when either a row or a column gets completely filled so uh, array dot length is size r is number of rows c is number of columns of the matrix right after that we'll create a map which is a hash map of integer comma array list of integer this is important that this is an array list of integer why do we need array list because we want to keep track of two things here the row and column for that item right for that number what is the row location what is the column location we want that's why we will create an array list array list will have two elements the first element will tell you what is the row number the second element will tell you what is the column number right okay after that you will start iterating through the matrix so this is where you are iterating through the matrix you will put the number in the matrix and you will put their indexes right so here is the way you can create an array list so you can just use arrays dot as list method you put ij so it will give you the row i is the row j is the column for that number and mat ij will give you the actual number so you will create a map basically right okay so now the map is ready so just to show you we can print out this map system dot out dot print again. okay so now we have printed the map now we will create one row array and column array of the size r and c number of rows and number of columns is r number of columns is c number of rows are r so we'll create one row array and column or array right then we will create two variables row value and column value both are integer dot max value we'll initialize it as integer dot max value right <clears throat> after that we will start iterating through the each uh, element in this given array right this each element we will start iterating and we will start simulating that we are actually printing that value right so what I mean to say is now first element here is 2 so you take this 2 you go here you paint this 2 right then you go to the 8 you paint this 8 right then you go to the 7 you paint this 7 right so that's what we are simulating here so here for i is equal to 0 i is less than size i plus plus so you read the value of the array you check from your map what is the row location of that value right you check from the map what is the column location of the value so you know the row location you know the column location so you will keep incrementing that in your row array right row r plus plus and column c plus plus correct exactly what i shown you just before some time right so we saw that here you will see that this is the row 1, uh, sorry, row 0 you will increment and column 1 you will increment, correct? And if at all your row R becomes equal to C, then you means that uh, that row is getting completely uh, filled basically, correct? Then you will read the row value. So row value you will always take from row value and I, the minimum value you want, right? Minimum value. Why minimum? Because you want to keep track of the first time when any of the row get filled. Right? First time when any of the row get filled. Similarly, you want to take the minimum between your column value and i. Because you want to find out the minimum index when any of your column gets filled. Correct? Okay. So, this is clear to you now. So, you keep looping through this for loop. At the end, you know the row value, you know the column value. So, you have to take minimum between these two values. So, you know when the when any of the row completely get filled first time, you know when any of the column get completely filled first time. So, you have to choose minimum uh, from those values, right? So, that you get the minimum index basically. So, because we'll take minimum between row val and column val as we want to find the smallest index i which either a row or a column will be completely painted in matrix, correct? So, this is how the implementation look like. So, let's run this code, make sure we get the correct answer. So, for the first test case, we are expecting 2 and we are getting 2 which is a correct answer. For the second test case, we are expecting 3 and we are getting 3 which is correct answer as you can see here and this is how the map will look like so this is the location so location of 1 
is uh, so here the location of uh, one here is uh, you can see here right the one so one is it means that it is the row number one column number zero right so you will see here that row number one column number zero right location of four right location of four is row one column one right so you will see here location of four is row one column one this is our map that i am showing you right that we printed okay so let's comment this part we don't need this uh, now we'll submit this code because we are getting correct answers so this is how you can implement and solve this coding problem so our code is getting accepted it is 17.32 percent faster on the performance side and 9.20 on the memory usage so these numbers are constantly changing so i'm not very sure about these numbers but this is the way you can solve this problem um, <coughs> So this is a 2661 on lead code first completely painted row or column very very popular and important matrix coding question of medium complexity so i hope you learned how to um, uh, how we have solved this logic uh, uh, using this logic that i explained you here um, so i just wanted to show you today uh, this uh, solution so i'll add this java code for you in my github repository and give you the link of my repository code so you can check out the other solutions there there are lots of other important programming and algorithms uh, related solutions available there for you in the github repository for example PL sql oracle mysql java j2 and unique solutions are compiled and uh, made available in the github repository for you don't forget to check them out they are important ones they, uh, those are recently asked questions by big companies they will give you more insight and ideas about how to implement uh, different solutions for different interview related problems if you like the programming solutions in the github repository consider giving it a star on the github repository that would be great if you are new to this channel there is a very important coding interview related playlist we have created to help your interview rounds it is called as lead code and lint code solutions more than 200 most frequently asked very important coding interview problems are compiled for you under one playlist those problems are asked by many big companies including google facebook amazon apple microsoft yahoo uber lyft linkedin netflix and many others many many times in their past interviews they are very very important coding interview problems make sure you go through them understand them thoroughly if you go through all those videos and problems you are going to learn a lot about data structures algorithms problem solving logic building programming and coding it will also help you learn lots of new techniques new ways of problem solving so do check out the solve coding problems the name of the playlist is lead code and lint code solutions now if you are a fresher junior level developer and you want to practice more coding problems for you uh, interviews to help you with your practicing we have created three other playlists for you here on this channel the names of those playlists are code forces code chef at coder if you go to the playlist of this channel you will find those playlists listed out there lots of interesting important and exciting problems are waiting for you there if you like these videos on this channel if uh, they are helping your learning process you are learning more problem solving programming coding then please do leave your messages feedback and comments below these videos your feedback your comments are and your messages are very important for us they increase our motivation to create more quality content videos on this channel uh, if you want us to create videos about any specific computer science java j2 interview related topics then mention those topics as well in the below's comment section box on this channel uh, we have also created lots of uh, data structures related coding interview problems that you can check it out uh, for example stack queues priority queues hash table hash map tree set hash set linked hash map linked hash set arrays linked list graphs matrices trees binary search trees so all these problems are available here so go through them they will definitely give you good preparation for your interview rounds will help you learn more concepts of computer science and programming if you are planning to take any java j2 interviews there are lots of java j2 related videos we have created on this channel to help others for example frequently asked java telephonic interview questions and how to answer them java design patterns java architecture sql programming questions to the freshers where they will give you database tables they will ask you to write sql queries where you may have to use different database related concepts like inner join outer join left outer join right outer join aggregate operations group band having clauses different where clause conditions important windowing and ranking functions along with partitioning everything is demoed and explained with example sql queries and sql tables for your easier and clear understandings 
There are videos that discusses Unix questions are also available on this channel for you. For example, Unix commands, Unix utilities, shell scripting questions all are here on this channel for you to help you in your interview preparation and learning process. Soon we are going to be bringing lots of important database fundamentals of PLSQL programming and Unix videos for you here where you can learn how to create stored procedures, functions, triggers, what is the use of them, what are the importance of them in applications development, how to solve PLSQL coding questions, what are the important uh, MySQL functions to know, uh, important concepts to know to solve those problems. So we are going to be demonstrating for you uh, in those videos everything in details with real-time examples. Uh, we are also going to be explaining you uh, Unix commands and Unix utilities with real-time examples. So you can click completely understand those things. Those are also important in interviews. So stay tuned to this channel. Keep checking out the newly added videos here. Uh, keep learning, keep coding and most importantly, uh, keep your practicing going on continuously and thanks for watching these videos.